Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up lock perms on your Minecraft server. So lock perms is a permissions plugin, and basically allows for you to turn off and turn on different permissions for different people. It's pretty easy to set up and also pretty easy to use. So anyway, let's get right into it. So first of all, lock perms is a plugin. This means that you will need to run a version that does support plugins. This could be paper, spigot, or bucket. If you're not sure if you have any of them selected, simply scroll down to your main server page to the server type menu, and then click the jar and pre-install menu. Once you're in here, you can select paper, spigot, or craft bucket on the left. I'm going to select paper 1.18, and I recommend that you do too, as paper is the most optimised. Just note that this does work for versions all the way down to 1.8.8. .8. So once you've selected your version, click save, and then you want to simply restart your server. Alright, so now that we have our server version set up, we need to install LuckPerms. So I'll leave a link in the description to the LuckPerms website, but once you're on here, just click download, and then we need to choose our server type. So we're going to click the bucket one. This works for bucket, spigot, and paper. So click bucket, it will then ask you to download it, I'll just keep it in my downloads, and then there we go, the download is now complete. I'm also going to go ahead and install Essentials. Essentials is not needed at all. I'm just using it so I can show you how you can turn on and off different commands. But anyway, I'm just going to download it. Alright, so now that we have both our files downloaded, we need to go back to Pebblehost. Once we're on here, we can go to the left and click on the File Manager. Once we're in the File Manager, we want to go to the Plugins folder. And then once we're in the Plugins folder, we want to click Upload, File. And then we can simply just select both these files. If you're just adding LuxPerms, it will just be the LuxPerms file, of course. And then just click Open. It will then upload the two files, and then there we go. Now we can click back on the left, and then finally we can restart our server. However, we're not actually done yet. So the next place you want to go to is the MySQL database on the left. It should then open a page that looks exactly like this. We can then scroll down and click LuckPerms under step 1. It will then check the server for the config file, and then once it's found it, it will ask you to confirm, which you just need to click configure. Alright, so we now have the database set up. So now we can simply restart our server once again. And now LuckPerms will be fully set up. So now, let's go ahead and join the game and I'll show you how to use it. Alright, so as you can see, we are now in our server. And the first thing we're going to do is do slash LP editor. However, you may notice that the text is actually red at the moment. And as you see, if we do run the command, it actually doesn't run it properly. This is because we don't actually have the permissions we need in order to run that command. So first of all, we need to give ourselves op. So to do that, go back to Pebble Host. And then scroll down, where you find connected players. I find my username, and then simply click op. It will then ask you to confirm it, which you just click op once again. And if we go back to Minecraft, as you can see, the server has made me an operator. So now if I was to do slash LP, editor is preparing a new session and there we go we now have a link to open the editor and if we do do slash plugins you can see we do have essentials and knock perms both installed all right so now we have everything we need we'll do slash lp editor once more and there we go we can now click the link if we press t and hover the mouse over the link we can then click it and then click yes and it will open it in your browser it will then ask you to run this command which you can simply just click the command it will copy it to your clipboard Go back to Minecraft and press Ctrl V on your keyboard to paste it in. You can then press enter and the editor window is now connected. Which means any changes you make on the online editor will take place in the game. So in order to show you how this works, I'm going to have to deop myself. So I can just do slash deop, strain stan. And there we go, I'm no longer an op, so I can't actually do slash lp editor anymore. As you can see, I can't do that, I can't do game mode. I can't undo any other commands. So let's go ahead and give me some. So go to the link that you clicked on in the chat. The website should look like this when you first open it. It says to choose a group or user from the sidebar. So if you open our groups tab, we currently have a group called default. And every user will go into this group by default. And we also have a users tab, which has all online users. So currently it's just me. We can then click on me. And then as you see at the bottom, we can currently add permissions. So let's say we wanted to give me permission to be able to do slash home with essentials. We could type in home. And as you see, we have a few essentials commands here. So set home, being able to set a home. 
home being able to teleport to a home and then home being able to delete a home. So if we add all three of these, it means it will have all the permissions we need to be able to teleport between homes. We can then click add on the right, or if you do want it to expire, meaning that if you did want it to end tomorrow, so the person only has permissions for one day, you can actually set the date that this permission expires. However, we're just gonna leave that blank. We can then click the add symbol, and as you see, it is currently added the permissions in. We can then click save at the top right. And then as you see, it does ask us to run this command. So as I am not op anymore, I'm gonna have to do this in the server console. To do that, you can go to the left on Pebblehost and click on the console icon. All right, so now if we paste the command in the console, we can then press enter. Then as you can see, it has added all the permissions. So now if we go back to Minecraft, as you see, we still can't do game mode or anything like that. However, we can actually do slash set home. As you see, I've currently set my home here. We can move over here and then do slash home. And as you see, it has teleported us back to our home. And then of course, we can also do del home, which will delete the home. So if we do del home home, home home has been removed. And then we can do slash home. And as you can see, it actually teleports us back to spawn as we don't have a home set. And that's of course, because we just deleted it. So if you did want to give people access to very, very specific commands, then lock perms is definitely the way to go. And of course, if you do add something by accident, you can of course remove it in the online editor as well. Sometimes when you're removing things, it may ask you to actually run a new instance of the LP editor, meaning that you will just have to generate a new link, which is pretty simple. It's just slash LP editor and it will create a new link for you. So don't worry about it as it will literally just tell you when you need to do it. So anyway, that's the individual command set up. Now I'm going to show you how you can change it for a group. So now we can go to the groups tab where we can see we currently have one group and it is called default. And then you can actually create a new group by clicking the plus icon on the right. We'll click add a group and then you can select a group name. So we'll just call this luck. And then the display name is what will show for other people. So we'll just make this luck perms. Of course, you can name this whatever you want. You can then click add group. And as you see, we now have a new group called Luck Perms. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to add a user into a group. So first of all, click on your user. But then if you look under the name, you can see parent groups. And you can see that I'm currently in the group called default. I can then click the X next to it to remove myself from that group. And if I want to add myself to a group, I can click the plus and then go to Luck. And this will add me to the Luck Perms group. So there we go. And now if I remove some of these, so I'm going to remove all of the permissions that I give myself. I'll click delete and then click save. I'll then go to my console, run the command. And then once again, we'll get a new editor. So once again, do LP editor and find a new link. And then we're going to add permissions into the luck perms group. So we'll go to the luck perms group and then you can actually just add permissions right in the bottom. So we're actually going to give home permissions into the group. So if you remember from earlier, I had these permissions for myself, but I have just removed them so I should no longer have them. But as I am in the group and I've added them to the group, I should have them once again. So I'll click add on the right and then click save and then copy the link, go to the console and paste it in. And as you can see, three additions have been made. Now, if we go back to Minecraft once again, as you can see, I still can't do any commands that I haven't currently got access to. So I just tried doing it and it actually didn't work. Now I did rejoin the server and it did actually work after that. So if you are changing groups, the player may need to rejoin. So just be aware of that before you say that it doesn't work. But now, as you can see, I can do slash set home. I can then walk away and do home and I teleport back, as you can see. And then of course I can do Dell home. So of course you can give any commands from pretty much any plugin. This will also work with mods as well. Of course, if you are using the bucket version of luck perms, then it won't work as obviously you can't use mods on bucket. But if you are using a forge version of luck perms, then there you go. So yeah, it's a really, really easy way to give certain permissions to certain people or certain groups of people. And yeah, anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.